July 8 to 11, 2018, 75 Indigenous girls and young women from Canada and South Africa, young women from Sweden and Russia, and researchers and other stakeholders from Canada, South Africa, Sweden and Russia came together at the Circles Within Circles conference in Montebello, Quebec to discuss youth-led approaches to address gender-based violence. Girls and young women expressed their views through participatory visual activities, storytelling, self-filming, photo voice, collage, talking circles, performance, and so much more. This work contributed to the beginnings of a girl festo. What does it mean to hear the voices of young people on the issue of sexual violence? Well, there are changes in two ways which this event uh, highlighted for us. One was about making space, of stepping sideways, of creating opportunities for us to hear the voices and the experience of young women and girls. And the second one is about changing the world to make sure that there is no opportunity for gender-based violence to occur in the lives of women and girls. And for the first one, it really is about providing opportunities, about changing the way we engage to make sure that it, are, it is appropriate for women and girls to express themselves. And here we saw examples of making it uh, focused on art, not just conversation, not just words, but rather ideas illustrated through, through film and through art and music. And that was totally appropriate. For, for the girls and the young women to express themselves. But what's interesting is that actually at the conference we've learned a lot more about the universal experience of uh, gender-based violence and that um, the additional lens of colonialization or the additional lenses of uh, different how patriarchy is, is um, enacted in different communities um, is, is adds depth but the focus has very much been on, on the fact that actually we share so much as women, as girls, um, in the expectations, the gender stereotypes that we conform to, the ways in which we're expected to prove ourselves and maintain certain um, behaviors um, is, is far more common than we think. For me, what, what this program has done, it has opened me up to a whole way of thinking about issues of gender-based violence and sexual violence, um, um, specifically that affect young girls. Um, more interestingly enough, though, is that we need, as, as people who are working to, against gender-based violence and trying to address gender-based violence, we ourselves need to start doing things differently, especially when you're saying that um, issues of gender-based violence should be addressed from the ground up, from the girls themselves. So in, in, in conferences like these, facilitation of these programs themselves needs to be led by girls. But also it brings into questions in terms of how are we as, as researchers, as, as, as educators, as activists, are preparing and are nurturing and mentoring these young girls to be able to take up um, spaces of leadership at such high levels. Of engagement. Though I think keeping the dialogue is crucial nowadays. We have to keep the dialogue, we have to help people in speaking, in raising their voices, we have to activate civil society. It is very challenging, but I think step by step we should continue on doing it. I'm really grateful that people from Russia are engaged into this dialogue about um, gender-based violence and sexual violence because it is a very relevant topic for us.
blow up the patriarchy. So much needs to change to improve the lives of women and girls. We need to be calling out sexism, we need to be calling out racism, we need to be calling out violence in all its many forms. And I think um, as we see in this event here this week, young women are truly leading the way. They are responding in all the different ways that they know how. They are responding through film, through drawing, through videos, through activism, organizing marches, writing books, and saying, we're just not going to take it anymore and we need to change the dynamics and the environments that aren't being supportive of our human rights and our rights to just be free of violence. In terms of moving forward from this event, I think it's critical that we include the voices of both young women and young men in designing and planning the projects um, that will emerge from this. And I think in that way, we're going to continue to contribute really meaningful work in the area of sexual and gender-based violence. I think this event was super helpful and it's very meaningful to a lot of people and like all the ideas and the input that everyone came together with is just so inspiring. The fact that all of us can come together and speak up and figure out ways to change this issue is really inspiring and I hope that we can all take it home and you know improve our communities. And the fact that this issue is worldwide is like very eye-opening. Like it's not just like in this province, it is everywhere. And I hope that one day we can all fix it. and I'm here uh, with the 26 uh, Young Indigenous Girls Utopia group. Uh, with, uh, I'm a co-community researcher with Carrie Don Whitney and uh, this was a really meaningful experience for our, our young girls to come and showcase the good work that we're doing back in our home community around uh, colonial violence and particularly the violence that the girls experience. I'm here with about 20 girls and they participated throughout the three or four days. And what I think is really important about this event is that it brings them together with other girls and also it gives them space and a voice to voice their creativity and their passions. It gives them space to talk about gender violence and the things that are really important to them. And what I'm hoping from this event, what comes out of it, is that other people can see that they can lead change and they have powerful voices to create change. I visited this event with two of my students and we have a marvelous days here in Marabello. We have learned a lot from all the people here and we have got a lot of ideas for the future to get rid of gender violence in society. Um, I think there should be more uh, girls' conferences so that we can have more empowerment for young girls to um, be leaders. So it would be nice to have uh, leadership, strong leaders from our groups who are young girls to carry this forward. I think for me these kinds of events are crucial to be able to um, bring young girls and youth of all genders um, together across indigenous nations, not only on Turtle Island but across the world um, because we have to be able to make visible our shared history of colonial violence and how that contributes to racialized gender and sexualized violence in our communities. Issues like, you know, high rates of poverty, um, extremely high rates of child welfare removal, um, state intervention into their lives, and just the lack of sovereignty, I think, over their own bodies um, and nations. Well, I and think 
it will help in quickly um, creating the awareness that is needed to put a halt to um, gender-based violence but also the fact that it's privileging the voices of girls um, it's not just policy makers making decisions on behalf of young women but it's the young women themselves who are driving this initiative driving policy and grounding their own issues up um, in order to influence policy and create change.